Well, it's great to be here today. This is a uh, an exciting time for Mississippi College going in to this season. A lot of uh, the expectations are getting a little bit higher each and every year through this building process. But uh, we're excited about it because of several things. Our recruiting class was great. We have a lot of players that are going to help us this season. But we also got to go through spring practice for the first time in 20 years. And of course, uh, this was Division Three school, and everybody knows this, so the transition part of Division Three to Division Two. That was something that Mississippi College hadn't had uh, uh, able to do that for a long time. So 20 years without spring ball, last year we got a chance to do that. So we got a kickstart towards a more successful season. We also had a great class, and we got some really good transfers in uh, that were able to come in in the spring. And so they got a chance to be a part of our program uh, last season during the spring ball. And now we're ready to kick it off. We got three weeks. That's the only negative. We've got three weeks to get ready for Texas College, and we'll have to hit the ground running. And these guys I know are, have had a great summer, and they're ready to get to work just like we are. Well, not only the Division II season, but also the Gulf South Conference, it is the best in, in the country. And so we have to have great players, uh, talented players, big and fast. When we were doing this last year, we had some good players. Uh, but we were also playing with some guys that were, uh, the year before, playing in a Division Three conference. And the Gulf South Conference is far from Division Three. We've uh, they're big and fast and strong. So we got pushed around a little bit early. Uh, we got better as the season went on. But uh, this year, we recruited some guys. These transfers, and we found out through all the, the junior colleges in the state of Mississippi is as good as you can find. So we're right here in the middle of it. It's a great place to recruit. Mississippi College is a quality place to be at. And we found not only some good players, but we found some good students and, and uh, players that will fit in here at Mississippi College but they're also going to be good on that field uh, versus our competitors, the Delta States and the North Alabamas and so on. So I think we'll feel real good about those guys helping us, uh, not only our depth, but our program uh, for the future. For you and Seth both, I mean, what, what, how do you think the team handled that first year in D2? I mean, it's not, it wasn't any easy task at all, but I mean, how, do you, how do you guys feel like you handled that? Well, I didn't handle it very well. I lost a lot of hair, and uh, it's been tough. <laughs> No, it, it was a difficult time. Nobody likes to lose. Nobody, we want to come in and have immediate success. Uh, it's just not that easy. It's going to be a, a building process. We feel like this season, and I know Seth can see this too because he works out with these guys and sees the progress of the, the talent level is getting better and better. And, uh, and we'll talk about the strength coach and what he's done as well. But a lot of things we've done through the Division II process that we couldn't do in Division Three are being done right now. So th those uh, last year was, I I'd like to say it was part of the process. We don't want it to be. We don't want to remember that. We're going to move forward. But uh, this year I feel like we'll be more competitive and we'll be, in be able to compete each and every week on Saturday. And for me, um, personally, it's kind of the thing of, you know, we roll into our first GSC game was North Alabama last year, and that's one of the top teams in the conference. And so you look at that, and, you know, we got beat up pretty good in that game. And so, uh, but you look at our last game against Delta State, at halftime of that game, it was like 10 to 3, and that's one of the best teams in the conference right there that co champions of North Alabama. And so um, just the progression throughout the year of us figuring out who we are, you know, and just growing in that really speaks volumes to me. And so obviously, with spring practice, us being able to have spring practice as well, that really allowed us to, I feel like we got a good foot forward this year going into it, so I'm excited. Raymond, uh, how's, uh, did you shake the rust off? Yet, uh, <laughs> how, how, you, how you feeling out there on the football field? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good, man. Uh, yeah, I shook the rust off in the spring. Uh, it was a lot of <laughs> rust. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I'm back in shape now, you know, back into the game. Um, everything's coming fluent now. You know, I'm just ready to see what the team has for me this year. And uh, I know they're ready to get after it, just uh, you know, just like me. So, you know, whatever this brings, you know, it's going to be something good. What was the biggest thing you needed to, you felt like you needed to work on during that spring and now going into fall camp? Oh man, uh, being out two years, you know, I had to work on just getting in shape. Um, other than that, leading. 
um, you know, getting back into that leadership role with the team, you know, having people follow me and, uh, you know, actually wanting to play for me. And uh, that's about it. Coach, last year the uh, hero of the Super Bowl was a guy from Vicksburg played at West Alabama. Uh, could you speak to the quality of talent in the Gulf South Conference and maybe see some of these guys from sure. the city of college playing in the NFL? You bet. Well, you know what? This conference is very strong from top to bottom. Each and every team we play has players that uh, have played in the league, and we, we've got banners on our uh, stadium. Uh, Fred McAfee, uh, Major Everett, who doesn't have a banner, but he played 14 years in the NFL. So uh, I was just at the Mississippi uh, Sports Hall of Fame, and uh, Brett Favre was going in. Right beside him was Fred McAfee right here from Mississippi College. So that was when we were Division II. Uh, and I, I've got a picture on my phone. Coach Herzog has uh, got me, and, and when we talk to recruits, I have a picture of three running backs from Mississippi College back uh, when they were Division II. All three of them went to the NFL, and there was another that went that year. There was two that went in the draft and two that were free agents. And uh, there was no other in the state of Mississippi, not Mississippi State or Ole Miss. They were from Mississippi College. So the talent level has been that way around here for a long time. It's a great location, a great school. And uh, there's no reason we can't get back to that. We've had scouts come through already uh, because of the talent that we've recruited. And uh, knowing that here in a year or two, uh, we'll have some guys who have a legitimate shot. You know, we, we want them to play for, well for us first. And then, uh, but it's, it's not surprising because the Gulf South Conference is definitely uh, strong enough to have talent that can play at that next level. Well, I don't know. I think it is for us. We'd love to have it in. So when we showed up today, we could uh, go out and see it. But uh, we, we get most of our practices with this heat uh, on the grass anyway. We're just trying to uh, – we'll try to work around any, any rain, which doesn't look like there is uh, going to be a whole lot. So we'll work around the heat by staying in the morning and in the evening. But on the grass, it'll drop the temperature down for us. So we usually get on that turf at night and um, – We'll just wait till they finish and get out there. Do you think it might be better from a safety standpoint, the new turf as opposed to the old? Well, as far as the turf goes, we had it for 10 years, I know, and uh, this was the time to, to change over. It was a little bit worn. Uh, some of the seams were getting not dangerous, but uh, I think we could have gone another year, but we wanted to make sure that it was, was new and uh, the footing was perfect in every – it's going gonna, it's gonna to look great, too. We're excited about it. It should be done here in a week or so. and. Uh, completely, but maybe even earlier than that for us to get on there and practice, but if we need to late at night. But it will be uh, not only play good and play fast, but it will look great.